Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to North Country Off Grid. Today we are doing some work uh, for the cabin build. We have got some logs in the very back of the property that I want to be our first logs. Our ground logs because they're really big and I don't want to get into the build and then try to lift them up um, up in the air because that's gonna that's gonna be difficult. But there's a lot of logs in here that we're gonna have to drag to get to it. So we're coming in today to do some cutting uh, to clear us a path in. And part of the problem with that is that this property has a lot of old existing barbed wire down. So Deegan and I are out here today hunting barbed wire, hunting old barbed wire. This, uh, this property, I don't know what it used to be. There's stuff on it that we found that's very old, stuff in this area that's very old that sort of suggests maybe an old cattle camp. Uh, there's an old, what would be like the master's house out here. Uh, there's a lot of old vehicles that were dumped out here. There's a, lots of fencing, lots of cross fencing. There's like remnants of old barns. Uh, there's some old build sites, like old stove, uh, stove chimney platforms. And then there's lots of like cans, lots of cans. Cans like they're feeding tons and tons of people. Saw blades have been found out here, axes, that sort of thing. So years and years and years ago, I think this was an old log, or not a logging camp, an old, uh, like an old cattle camp, because there's a lot of fence. But you can see here, we got old fencing with four strands of barbed wire on it. Now this stuff is laid across the property, not on the property lines, it's just kind of cross fenced randomly in weird spots. So what we're gonna do is go through and pick it up out of our way and cut it, uh, and then eventually chase it as far as we can. But it's all grown over, it's hard to see. There's a couple places, there's a place here where it's uh, very apparent. There's a place back kind of where we came that's very apparent, and then there's a place up there that's very apparent. And I'm hoping it's not all attached because that's gonna be a lot of barbed wire to pull up. Uh, and who knows what we might find along the way. There's some other stuff out here that's sort of tossed, thrown. We've found random things out here in piles. So underneath the ground, uh, there's a lot of secrets, a lot of cool stuff to be found. So cut it right at, cause we'll wind up taking that thing out. Yeah, so just cut it right at the post. This is not in the ground, I just cleaned it up. I know, but we're gonna get it out of the way. So we don't want a bunch of stuff hanging off of it. Well done. No, no, not that. Not that. Okay. That. This is where I found that, like, antique bottle. I got three. Those two wires. Now cut this loose from here. Cut. cut it here though. Okay, grab that. Take that out. Where oh, is, no, hold on, sorry. Where's come your little trim, pile? Come trim this side. Grab that one you just stepped on. Headshot. Okay, watch 
Mr. Soul. Okay, come over here. Yeah. Ouch! Whoa. That's your black also. So while building our homestead, it looks like we are going to be unbuilding whichever homestead uh, belonged here, was here years ago, uh, this little operation that's out here. Did you find it? Yep. Good job, buddy. So there's quite a bit of this stuff throughout the property. Hopefully uh, we only find sections of it like this and it's not just all underground laid down and we have to walk the entire property doing it. And the reason we're bringing it up or getting it up is for one, we don't want pop tires of equipment coming in here. For two, we are bringing equipment in here and what we don't want to have happen is have a random strand of barbed wire um, beat up some equipment or snap something, break something, get, get tangled up, and then we're fixing equipment as well. So we're taking the time and the effort to pull this stuff up now so it doesn't cause us a problem later. Well, it looks like we cleared up that mess. I think that this, I think a lot of this wire is going to be wind up cutting cutting sections and I think we're going to be cleaning up sections at a time. I uh, hope it's not all just still connected but it looks like sections which will be nice. But we've got that cleaned up so we're going to come through with the chainsaw now and cut our way into this stuff uh, to get back to our next log. Yesterday as we were coming back in here, uh, Kinley was calling it bob wire, watch out for the bob wire which is a common misconception. A lot of people actually call it bob wire, not barbed wire. And uh, I was letting her say it and I was telling her that bob wire was invented by a guy named Bob Dwyer, which is pretty funny. So when we were walking through calling it Bob Dwyer all day. So one day I'll have to tell her that it's not Bob Dwyer, wasn't invented by Bob Dwyer, but for now it's funny. We're in the spot that we need to get to second. So we're gonna cut our way back through, get us a nice uh, path coming through here so that we can bring our tractor in here, grab our logs and drag them out. I'll take you guys up here and show you where we're trying to end up uh, for the final, final destination because it's our biggest logs. So here's the mess of our biggest logs. This is what we're trying to get to big logs big long and straight logs these are great logs these are gonna be great foundation logs our first logs to get going with because they are the biggest they are the heaviest that's probably 13 13 14 inches thick there so it gets us off the ground that one's even bigger it gets us off the ground over a foot with our first log which is what I'm trying to get at so we got one two Three big ones back here. That's a great one right there. Really straight too. Four. Four or five big, big logs back here. And that's the back of the property. So we have to come to the furthest point of the property to get our very first trees. It's just the way of it. I can't get every tree drug out right now because I don't have a place to stage all these logs. So they're kind of just sitting out here waiting for me to come grab them. I'm starting to crowd my build area with logs and I don't want to continue crowding it. All right, so let's get back, fire up the chainsaw, start cutting in here.
there is our trail all the way back to where we need to go. Unfortunately, there's a lot of little fir trees in the way. We like these fir trees. Now, our plan is to eventually turn this all into pasture up here, but we would still keep all of the fir trees. Uh, so if we had to mow around the trees, they'd be fir trees, but get rid of the pines. But we have made it. We are at our destination with our trail. So our next step is going to be bucking all these trees, coming in with the tractor and start dragging them all out. But that's gonna be for another video. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna follow along uh, with the entire cabin build, getting the rest of these logs out of here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, push that little bell notification. That'll let you know when we put out new videos uh, and then you can watch the series. Go to the playlist, check out the home build series, the cabin build, hand hewn log cabin, it's going to be a good one. I'm excited for it. It's been fun so far. Uh, once we start making beams, it's going to be good. The beam that we're getting back here, our last beam that we drag in, uh, will wind up being the first actual beam we cut. Make sure you're following along. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you on the next one.